Hey everybody, Hostrom here with another Star Wars Destiny video. Sorry for the long break and how long I've been away. Um, I did go to Worlds, and of course I was knee-deep in prep for Worlds, and then Worlds happened, and then since Worlds I've had to like catch up on real life and everything, kind of focus on that. Um, just going to play a casual game with uh, one of my locals, Alex. He just, it's Halloween. And uh, I've now uh, turned off the light and closed the door and stuff. We, we hit the dead spot here for trick-or-treaters. So, you know, we're done with that. So Alex messaged me and said, hey, want to play a game? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'll, I'm going to think I'm going to do this as a video. So, um, Worlds was a lot of fun. If you've never been to it, it's, it's, it's a blast. You just five days of just geeking out on playing Destiny with good people. Um, met a lot of nice people. Um, first pod that me and my group, my team that we played in, we actually played with eventual world champion, Mr. Rothermel. Um, it was really nice to meet him and, and stuff like that, uh, and play against him in a game. Um, uh, in case you don't know, uh, I, I'm the person who... And I did post this, so I'm sure a lot of you are aware, but my group and I, we were able to uh, grind enough pods, get enough tickets over the course of doing pods, the main event, and a couple of the side, a couple of side events. We did the team event. Um, we ground enough that we were able to get all of the monochromes as a group. Um, and then uh, I do have some of the extras that we were able to accumulate up on eBay. If you're interested in seeing if there's if you want to get some of the monochromes that I was able to get extra, just go on go on to eBay. You can search me Orb of Haas is my seller name. But yeah, Worlds was an absolute blast. Doing the pods was great. It was just good to, to play against new people. Um, it was just great to play against some new people and everything. Um, uh, see, you actually meet people in person, people I talk to online and stuff. It was great. I ran into Monk from Monk's Gaming Battlefield. I had a chance to talk to him. Um, that first day of pods, in addition to playing with Andrew Rothermel, uh, we, we played with, uh, with Hunter, uh, the, the day 1A 8-0 player. Uh, and it was really nice to play with him. Uh, I ended up playing against him in the as the infinite players uh, in the in the three man three v three tournament, it was really great to play against him there. Um, he he raffle stomped me in that infinite match. But um, uh, okay, so what, what are we gonna play here? Let's uh, you know what? Let's just let's just do this just because it's hilarious. I um, let's do. Should we do Dryden? Let's do Dryden. Let's do Dryden because it's hilarious. He's playing. He's playing Thrawn. So we're we're clearly in the land of of doing fun stuff here. Um. Anyway, back to worlds. Um. Doing the pod was great. Uh. We just kind of had a, you know, uh, our, our group. We just we just took turns paying for the four of us to play. Um. On the drive up to the cities because we we live here in South Dakota, so it's just a quick four hour drive. On the drive up, we did the math. We figured that if we had the four of us just all be in a pod together, um, that just edged out an additional two tickets per pod guaranteed. And so we just stayed together as a group. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. Because it meant I could kind of balance between playing my friends, but also playing new people and having it be casual, do some test, but also do some testing for some pods and things like that. It was just a lot of fun. So... Definitely got to meet some uh, nice people. Like I said, I met Monk from Monk's Gaming Battlefield. Met Hunter. Um, got to meet Game Slayer, aka No Brainer. Um, got to play in a pod with him. Um, there's a bunch of other people whose names I don't remember because I'm terrible with names. So I apologize to everyone else I did play against. If you played in a pod with a guy with purple hair, that was me. So feel free to leave him a like or a comment and say, "Hey, we played in the pod with you on such and such day." Um, okay, so looking at my hand here, um, I think we're just going to go with keep that, 
And Admiral's really good. So let's just do that. Let's just keep these. Um, send those three back. All we gotta do is get the one additional resource. Ooh, oh, this is a gross, this is a terrible hand. This is a terrible, terrible hand. All my stuff is in my hand. All right, all right, so this is not gonna go well. Um, the 3v3 tournament was a lot of fun, our group. Uh, we didn't, we did two and four, I think, but I personally went four and two. Um, I just lost to a pair of mill decks. I was playing Infinite Palpatine. Which was a lot of fun. Alright, so we got a five. And I wonder what the hell Alex is even doing. What are you doing, Alex? Okay, so I win. So we're taking mine because we're going to need two. Yeah, we're going to need to take mine because, yeah. We'll see if he remembers to take his shields. Alex gets a little preoccupied sometimes with like thinking too much about certain things and distracting himself. Basically, it's kind of hilarious. In real life, he does the same thing. <laughs> he gets very like preoccupied with things and then like remembers later, oh crap, shields. And I'm like, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll just roll out Conan out of here. See what happens. Sure, there's the resource that we want. Which means we can save our salt flats for Dryden. Okay. That's a lot of melee. I wonder where we're going to get played against us. I mean, we don't have a whole lot. We don't have like a the good news is, though, is that this deck is like, it, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's, it, it's you know, this deck is light on removal. Um, we only have like four pieces of removal, I think, in the entire deck. So, you know, if he, if he happens to... Uh, I can't do anything. Close the box. Thank you. Go ahead and just crush your five damage. So you mean doing this and then putting them back? Is that what you mean? I need a more clear gesture than just, <laughs> God. Anyway. Like, yeah. Just a quick little like shove of the dice and then moving your cursor over doesn't tell me anything. Wow, it must be nice to have it all go right, huh? We're going to have to uh, press really hard here in this first round, I think.
Okay. Oh, wow. Seriously? We had it on the top of the deck? Yeah, literally the top card of the deck. Wow. Get out of here. Okay. Must be nice. God, that must be nice to have it go so perfectly for you. Like, literally the only, like, copy of removal that we have in hand. That we pretty much have in the deck. <sighs> Annoying. Are you done? Okay. Bye. Goodbye. We gotta at least see one card that he doesn't know what the hell it is. All right. Let's play some offense here before he can roll out and look at everything. And that really sucks too, because I was holding off on using this for on my own dice, and I should have used it on his. Sure. <sighs> so, while well, he's busy looking, um... It was super fun to collect all those monochromes. Um, as of right now, I kind of have mixed feelings about Worlds next year, um, about them announcing that it's going to basically be invite only for the main event. Now, I would assume that means they're going to have a last chance qualifier because that is what they do for X-Wing. You know, so it's it'll it'll be basically you just if you don't have your guaranteed seat, you just kind of have to treat it like, okay, well, my main event is that. <laughs> and then if you qualify, then you just have a new main event. Um, but given how much fun it was to just grind the pods and everything, um, let's roll out Mahdi here. Yeah. Given how much fun it was to just go ahead and grind the pods and everything, um, I would say that uh, you know it's definitely still going to be worth going to Worlds, assuming that uh, that's what a person needs to do. Especially if you can get a, get uh, seriously once again. Are you serious? He's going to do it again. All right. Let's just do that. I mean, he's going to ramp here. We know this. This is this is nothing new to us. Um, that's actually nice because now I'll be able to get a second Admiral. That should be exhausted though. Okay. Alright, um, 
Let's go to Sure. I mean, we're just going to force him into using his focus, I think. Let him do his focus. Yep, that's fine. Alright, let's just go ahead and flip here then. We're going to hit him for a bunch more. Do five. He can do five direct or he can just do four. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's go with hitting him for five. Okay. Sure. Um, um, no. Oh, that's right. Does he get one more action with that? I forget. Is it take an additional action? It is take an additional action. Okay. All right. Let's go three and direct. Call the claim button. Jesus, Alex, crying out loud! Like literally, like how many times do you have to play on TTS before you like understand basic things? Ugh. Anyway, all right. So we're doing that. That's a thing. It's happening. It's time to go ham. All right, not exactly what we wanted here. So we're gonna do some pitch to reroll action now. It's, nah, let's pitch this one. Let's think about this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to kill Greedo because if he randomly hits the two guns, um, we're going to. Pitch to re-roll, and we're going to pitch here, and we're going to pitch here, and I think we will pitch here. He's claimed, so I'm not worried about cards in hand. There it is. Nailed it. So let's take a resource. Let's go ahead and deal five more. Okay, still take three. Let's go, oh, yeah, let's go again. Do I go with these? 
Yeah, I go with these. All right, we're going balls to the wall. Sure. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um Got to think for a second. Got to think for a second. Like that's been exhausted again. Like this one's been exhausted cuz this is the this is the next rollout of this. I'm pretty sure I, I don't get another one. Yeah, I don't get another one. Um, three and three. But yeah, we win. Okay, so we just go to the two here. And three indirect. Deal three indirect. Deal three. And that's game. And that's game. Woo! Yes! Balls to the wall. So, that is now the second game in a row that this deck has done exactly this. Literally just blast an opponent on round two. So, to all you questioners out there, all I gotta say is, see it and suck it. That's what I'm gonna say. Bam, bam. And no, I'm just kidding. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I always appreciate the comments on the post. Um, I always love the, <laughs> I always love the, uh, you know, um, I always love the feedback. So, uh, you know, just, just being funny, not trying to actually be hateful on anybody. Oh yeah, of course. Sure. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Cannot turn dice. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe you should have played it instead of <laughs> anyway, um, what else was in his hand, though? Oh, he claimed. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Totally psyched you. Boom! Pro play right here. Some serious pro play coming in with the uh, the Admiral that he forgot about. Coming in with the Admiral. Yes, the new Admiral to reset. Yes! Got there. Oh, he should have taken a damage from this earlier, by the way. Totally forgot about this. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I mean, this was, this was a grossly, like, terrible opening hand that was only salvaged by the fact that the Admiral, I got the, the double Admiral play, so, um, all right, let's reset, let's do another one here. Let's just do a delete. So worlds, um, you know, move into the, move into the, you need a thing or whatever. I don't think it's gonna necessarily affect. It's not gonna affect me going. Um, the the only thing that would probably really affect me going next year would be whether or not my friend is able to uh, put me and the rest of my team up again like he did this last year. So huge shout out and props to my boy, Mr. Chris, um, for he and his wife 
uh, putting me and the rest of my team up in their house. We're we're longtime friends. We've been together. You know, we've been friends for known we've known each other for over twenty years. We've been really close friends for like the last ten. Um, he and I are both uh, top of the top of the world uh, Star Trek card game players. I am the number one rated player in the world. He's the number four rated player in the world. Um, so we we get together and see each other for that sort of thing all the time. But of course, he's not obligated to to put his house up for four nerds to come and stay, but he did, so I appreciate and thank him for it, but assuming that he's able to put us up again, I, I would assume that me and the, my, my, my group are probably going to go next year again, um, just because of the fact that we had so much fun grinding the side events and accumulating the, uh, the, the monochromes. I mean, that was, honestly, that was an incredible amount of fun to grind out those monochromes. It's, you know, it's just a lot of fun to have something new and flashy and shiny, and it's the only place... Um, it's the only, you know, only time it seems like for Destiny that you're able to actually, like, grind things out and make trades and stuff, because we were going around making trades, and, um, this is another shout-out, big, big props to Ken, uh, I don't think I caught his last name, I don't remember where he's from, but he sat across from me at, at our, at our, um, pre-main event seating, um, for attendance and stuff, um, so big thanks to him for making a last second trade in order for us to get the very last card that we needed to get all the monochrome. So big thanks to Ken. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. But, uh, so big thanks to Ken. Other, some other people that I had a chance to meet, uh, met another, I met Florida Kevin. I'm going to just refer to him as Florida Kevin because I cannot remember his last name. Um, he'll know who he is. Um, not Kevin, not the Kevin who's associated, um, uh, with, uh, the main Florida group. Um, why am I blanking? Why am I blanking on them right now? Um, the, the Jackalman Games, not Jackalman Games, Kevin. I'm pretty sure it's a different, different Florida Kevin. Um, nice guy. Had a, had a good, had a good talk with him. Um, he was fun to play, uh, fun to play or fun to talk to and stuff like that. I think we played against, I think I played against him at some point too in a pod or something too. I'm blanking on that. So much of the weekend is a blur. Um, yeah. I mean, the whole event, just top to bottom, was a lot of fun. Um, I uh, I played... I decided to be crazy. I decided to treat the main event as something other than, like, I need to do well in this and make top cut, or I'm, I'm going to be sad. Because, to be perfectly honest, I was having so much fun... Um, Yep, gotta make your deck public. Um, I was having so much fun grinding pods with my guys and getting, you know, getting foils and getting the super cool shield tokens that when it came to third, that you know, just on Wednesday and Thursday, it got to Thursday night, and I just said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play this this, like, oddball deck or whatever. Um, this, like, not top of the meta deck. Um... Dude. 
five digit. There it is. Okay. Um, that, so I decided to um, decided to just go ahead and play Plowox, but my own kind of like weird special brew of it, where I had a whole bunch of card draw stuff in it in order to try to dig for the burn events a little bit better, dig for the battlefield switching cards a little bit better. In the in the end, um, I ended up going two and three, and then just dropping out and going back to pods, which is totally fine. Um, like I said, I, you know, only, only a certain number of people get to make top cut and you're, you're going in with the wrong attitude if you ask me, if, if you're just expecting to make top cut. So I was like, I'm going to not expect to make top cut and then I'm going to be happy if I do and not surprised if I don't, because I knew that I was going to be, I knew that I was playing a deck that was going to be, you know, it, it was going to take, it was going to take some either luck or just some. Some luck or some bad decisions on my opponent's part in order to win. So I was not surprised to just go two and three and go back to pods. And it's, it's fine. Um, honestly, I probably should have just played Afro Droids or, or uh, played, played an Afro deck or played Java supports. Um, but, you know, I just, I was rolling so many dice that I just was like getting burnt out from rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> By Thursday night, I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the main event and play a deck that does not roll that many dice. Um, yeah, it's right here. Um, so uh, round one, I played Matai Dra. Uh, and I, I don't know if I'm saying his last name correctly. Dragna or Dragni. Drene, I'm not quite sure. Um, Matai, though, he made top 64. That Matai, he was on. Um, he was on the Raylo deck, of course, and he won that game by one damage point. And it was even closer than that because what actually the play of the game was in the very first round. I was able to kill Ray with the very first action of the next round. As long as he didn't heal her or give her another shield, he had only one card left in his hand, and that was it. He had one card left in hand, no dice remaining in the pool, nothing else he could do, just one card in his hand. He had given her a shield with Luke's protection earlier in the round and then put that on top of his deck. The last card in his hand um, was, uh, was a treasure lightsaber, which he overrode to draw the card to give her one additional shield. And then to make it even worse... Because I wasn't able to kill her as the first action, I could kill her on the second action. His first action was to was to get was to override again and give her a raised lightsaber and give her shields, and then that was just that was just ended up being just the difference. So it was an amazing play. It was amazing, you know, obviously top level play by him. But man, did it just suck to be on the other side of it. <laughs> anyway, um, let's do let's let's give it let's do this one. Now we're gonna bust out the Emphis Veil deck here. This is just total garbage. This deck is just nonsense. It's a lot of fun, but it's total non-competitive nonsense. <laughs> um. So the other day, uh, so I, I posted on the Destiny Facebook group, you know, about the outcome of the last time I played the uh, the Dryden deck. But this was, I played another game against Parker that was actually the game before that one. And I, I played this deck, I played this Enthus Bail deck and was able to win that game too. Um, needless to say, both Parker and, and Chimera both felt like this deck was hilarious. So, um, it pretty much just is. And 
this opening hand is not great. It has two keepable cards and that's it. We'll send the rest back. Try again. See if we can find ourselves a title. We need a title. And we found it. Okay, so that's that. I mean, this is an odd hand for sure. This is a very odd hand. So he got a five. I got a five. He got a four. I win. We'll take Mean Streets. All right. Let's do this. See if we can just land one of these dice on a resource. Nope. Okay, so he's going to give me a chance to see if we can easy pickings. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, let's just do this. Alright, so if he resolves one of those, then I'll get to screw with the other one. Tap your dudes when you activate them, bro. Alright. He's a leader, right? He has a subtype. I forget what it is. <sighs> um, I'm going to have to look it up on my phone. I forget if he got one or not. Pretty sure he did. Standard. He is a leader trooper. So I'm going to roll re roll some leaders here. that. Reread your card, dude. Reread your card, bro. If he's on a blank, he's not showing either one of those things. I turned it with my special. You should know this. You should know this. <laughs> You've played this card.
let's do that. Let's see what he does. Alex is pretty notorious for basically just, you know, like going like going through round one with like barely playing any cards out of his hand. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Um, boink, get out of here. Get out. Goodbye. Okay, what you gonna hit? All right. We go to the three shields. Like if I get a claim. Do it correctly. Let's Don't care about that one resource. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's just let's just screw off with it. Yep. We're gonna screw off with it. And see what happens. And as far as rounds go, that was pretty mildly terrible. We dealt no damage. But, you know, it happens. What can I say? What can I say? Sure. Alright, so get, get out of here. Let's just, let's just roll this bad boy up. Once again, shield and one melee. Not helpful. Okay. Don't. okay. It has a double, a two range side, which he doesn't have a two range. Yeah, he does. Okay. There's a possibility he could easy pickings here. That's not helpful. Apparently I should have done the disrupt on him. Um, yeah, let's do this. Just has to show the same symbol. Get out of here with that. That's fine. It's like we knew it was gonna happen, but we're just gonna like eliminate the, eliminate the things here. Um, no, let's do this one. Let's just get him out. Sure. Seems fair. Okay. 
Take your ping. Stop cheating. Okay, so he has no money now, but he does have just one die. Yeah, he has just one die. He can forsake it again. I'm fine with that. If he wants to forsake it again, go for it. Forsaken a die. I don't give a shit. Nope, he doesn't have Forsaken. Yep. I like it. That seems good. All right, let's let's go. Yeah, let's just do it. Two, three, three. Take nine. Let's see what he wants to do now. Totally setting up for next round's domination play. Next round's domination play is totally where it's going to be at. Sure. Okay, well, that's fair. Um, get two resources so we have one that we can afford to spend right now because easy picking isn't going to do shit easy picking isn't going to do anything um so let's just get this out here that. No. No resolve. Um, I honestly feel like we can ride this game out without even having to play the Electro River. But we'll keep it. We'll keep it just in case. I mean, we're riding. Oh, buddy, there it is. There's the Grand Moth. There's the Grand Moth that we needed. Flips that to a two range, he punts it for four. And we won't be able to do anything about it. So let's just dominate. We're gonna dominate now and go for the kill. We're sticking to the plan. We're going domination play. And all Snow has is a paltry little too indirect. Me no care. We're still gonna roll bailout first though. Well, do we need to? No, let's roll 
Let's roll her out first. Sure. Let's see what he does. Now he's going to take two shields, huh? Yep, take two shields. Okay. Yeah, sure. What has he got? What has he got? Gonna do another, do it again? Oh, okay. I see. I see where his mitigation's at. Okay. That lets me, that gives me a huge understanding of what's in his hand. All the discards if I want them. Let's just do this. Let's just roll out. Let's see if we can get ourselves into where we want to be. Before we go for the kill. We're going for the kill. We're going to come in hot, as Joe Cologne likes to say. We're going to come in hot. <laughs> All the focus in the world. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's just do this. Going for the kit ill. I mean, you could probably remove one of them. Okay. These two? These two? Ambush. What's your ambush? One, two, three, four, five. Eight. One, two. So one, two, three, two, three. Yeah. He can't handle it. He dead. He dead. He dead, sucker. Woo! Killing some people tonight. We are just killing them. So, yeah, now is the time to pitch the Electro Ripper. Aw, sad face. Um, this seems super terrible right now. Yeah, we'll take that resource, and then we'll pump two damage in, and then we're good. We are we are riding high on this. Oh, buddy! Even if he finds something, oh man, what the hell? 
Hull Breach? Oh, discard a support from what? Huh. He could have like he could have been like totally messing with those, but oh, maybe he just drew it and I just like completely wrecked it. <laughs> he must have just drawn it. This is the one that I don't understand, though. Why wouldn't you tactical mastery? Oh, man. Interesting. Not understanding. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, you're up. Been surprised at, to be perfectly honest, I've been super surprised at how well this deck is able to like play defense and play offense at the same time. I mean, it kind of helps when my opponents are not like hardcore removing your dice. Like that's something that'd be difficult to deal with. The deck that you know, like like the Droids deck is obviously gonna probably just destroy this deck with its ability to action sheet, throw the damage, and then sit back and just remove my dice over and over again. But like I said before, this deck is not a tier one deck in any way, shape, or form. So, let's just go ahead and roll out Emphis again. Draw out the removal. What is it with this crazy biatch and her shields? She keeps rolling the shields. Well, there's one dollar for him. Boink. Let's just do the for the price. We'll make it easier on ourselves. We'll just make it easy on ourselves. We'll draw the removal onto that. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. There it is. There's some guns. Sun's up, guns up, baby. That's not bad. I could live with that. I could potentially just hammer that. Down to fifteen cards. Let's do this. We'll see what happens here, and then we can decide if we drop our grand moth or if we're just gonna keep pressing offense. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's legit. That feels legit. We're gonna do it this way. We'll see what he does. I mean, we are so far ahead of him right now that you know we have the ability just to sit here and kind of slow roll things a bit. I mean, he's got all kinds of money, so we gotta see what he's gonna spend it on. Oh, that's a thing. That is a thing. All right, um, cool.
make him discard a card. One discard. Yup. Goodbye on that. Pump four into him. And then I think we're good. I'm not gonna get you a card for that last thing. Um, I think we only need the one piece of removal. Yeah. I mean, he's just so far behind right now. This right, this card, huh? Or disrupt resource. Just do that. Let's play the card that we've been wanting to play. Nope, there's his two dollars. Um no red. Try again. Fair enough. Now we're gonna go. This is this is now finally where we just go in with Veil first, find disc cards and clear the way, and then just win, or just find shields <laughs> and damage, which is also good. Shields and damage also feel good. Keep extending this lead. Okay, I want to see that. All right, that's fine. That is fine. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take three shields. We're just gonna go and. We'll just. Extend back to having eight health. Still haven't seen our admirals yet. Where are the admirals? Admiral would have been nice. You can disrupt if you want, dude. All yours. It's all yours if you want to disrupt. If you'd like to try to find your two indirect, that's also fine. Yeah, that doesn't... Oh, interesting. Sure. Ugh, that's, that's a power miss. Some power miss action right here. Let's just get all the scoundrel dice out for bail. Uh, that's also a bit of a miss. Let's see what he wants to do. We're hitting them resources, bro. We're hitting them resources, dude. I know he's waiting on his other Forsaken, but I don't care. Feels pretty good. Yep. 
Go and hit that other forsaken. Oh. Oh. Bang. All right. I don't like this card anymore. There we go. And then that's the ball game. Woo! Yep. So Alex actually. Uh, he plays a discard heavy version of, of this deck where he's basically trying to mill you out. He plays with the, the command center battlefield and he mulligans aggressively for Grand Moff so that he can basically just start powering away your discard, your, your deck. But I feel like this is better. I mean, as far as even like casual goes, this is better. <laughs> so anyway, um, those are a couple of games for everyone. Playing some semi-casual stuff here. I mean, now that Worlds is over. I mean, if unless you're practicing or getting ready for a prime, now is, now is the time just to kind of like power down a bit, everybody, and just have some fun. Um, explore the meta space because I think it's going to be a while before we get another set. So you know, if you want to sit there and keep blasting top five meta decks at each other, then that's fine, I guess. But my, my, my thought is is that, you know, make some room for some fun, too. Make, make some room for some jank, um, you know. So, but, hey, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching. You know, like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to do more videos again here soon. Um, but, um, yeah, hit me up. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm selling those selling the monochromes and stuff on eBay. Look me up again. Again, it's Orb of Haas is my seller name. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and may the force be with you.